Previously on Jack of All Trails. After eight incredible days in the breathtakingly beautiful Kyrgyzstan of amazing hikes, horse trekking, road trips, and more, it is now time to move on to our next adventure. Today, we make our way to the next country on our route, Tajikistan, traveling the Pamir Highway, known as the Roof of the World, from Osh and road tripping all the way to Dushanbe along parts of the old Silk Road. You might have noticed by now, put me in a car and you're guaranteed I'll fall asleep. And so, this is what I woke up to, Karakul Village with the famous Karakul Lake. Our original itinerary was to stay a night at Karakul village. However, we still did not have some money currency with us to pay for the homestay. And so we decided to make our way to the main town in the region, Murga, via the Akbaital Pass, which is the highest point on the route. The contrast of what we have seen so far in Kyrgyzstan and now in Tajikistan is undeniable. We can't help feeling we are in a set of Mad Max. We finally arrived at Murgap. We explored this interesting town and its market, definitely bigger and more populated than Karakul. We then called it at night at Pamir Hotel. The next day, after a photo in the town center with Uncle Stalin, we made our way to Langer. Not without stopovers, of course. Yes, posing is tiring. It is another long drive to our next destination, but we were told there is a somewhat hidden gem on the way, the Akbalik Sacred Pool. So, of course, we are on the lookout. After all, they said, it is just somewhere here. After that pretty surprise, we kept moving. Following a military checkpoint, we are now driving along the border of Tajikistan with the Wakan Corridor across the valley to the left. 
The Wakhan Corridor is a remote part of Afghanistan which is geographically very isolated from the rest of the country. The border at this point is just a small stream you could easily wade through. We will watch this stream grow into a raging torrent on our journey. Pretty hungry at this point so we stopped for lunch at the small guest house. I really couldn't get over how well presented our meals are. And look! Our lunch companion! Happy tummy? Let's go! The drive along the valley side is incredible. The road is single track and carved out of the side of the cliff. This was completed by the Russian army during the period known as the Great Game, where they contested control of the Central Asian region with the British in the mid-1800s. It is possible to see three countries simultaneously at this point, standing in Tajikistan with Afghanistan just across the river and the imposing giant peaks of the Hindu Kush of northern Pakistan at the backdrop. To potentially save costs, we explored the idea of hiring a car and driving the Pamirs on our own. Rob would have loved this. But seeing how difficult to drive the mountain roads are, and not to mention all the army checkpoints we had to navigate, booking this trip from a reputable company is so worth it. Ours was from World Roof Tours. Just like Kagan Voyage of Kyrgyzstan, we like to support local organizations. And there it is, Langar. Okay, we are not there yet, but seeing this much greenery for the first time since we got to Tajikistan got us all excited. After a freshly prepared dinner at Davlat guest house in Hisor village, we went for a walk, explored both villages, and admired the Alpen glow before calling it a night. The next day, we hiked to the famous Langar petroglyphs. Langar is standing at 3,000 meters above sea level. With the thin air, this hike could be a little bit difficult. Oh, but the views are so rewarding. Directly in front of us are the mountains of Afghanistan and Pakistan, the same mountains we hope to climb someday. A few more snapshots, and there they are, the Bronze Age carvings. We tried to decipher what they meant, but we could only guess. We're just so happy to be looking at a piece of history. We thoroughly enjoyed our two days in Langar, but we have to continue our journey. Next is a long drive to Karok, making some memorable stops along the way. First stop was the Buddhist stupa, just a short hike up the hill of Rang village. This stupa dates back to 5 to 4 AD. Then, in the nearby village, we saw the house museum of Muburaki Wakani. He was a Sufi mystic, astronomer, and a musician. After the fortress, we went to the nearby Bibi Fatima Hot Springs. They charge 10 sumoni per person and lug it in. And according to the books, I was the first from the Philippines. Next up is another spring, the Garim Chashma Salt Spring. We bathed in both of these springs, which are believed to have healing powers. 
you must bathe naked and men and women have separate rooms. Nighttime and we finally arrived in Karog. We had beer and the tastiest Indian food. Another day, another city exploration. We went to the market, tried the ice cream, then the museum, then more ice cream. We then stumbled upon Korog Central Park, which has so much to offer. Thousand steps later, our feet were dying, so we stopped at this restaurant overlooking the river for some drinks. Next day, a visit to the botanical garden which overlooks the city of Korog. The buzz of the city is good, but we kind of miss nature at this point. So instead of spending another night in Korog, we asked our driver to take us to Bartang Valley. So after another round of ice cream, we packed our bags and off we went. Plan to stay the night in Jusev, which from what we read is a hidden gem. But first, a stop at the Afghan Tajik Cross Border Market. Ooh, markets! They just have this appeal. We don't have much luggage capacity, so I just got some Afghan scarves. And off we went! On to Jisev. We read that you need to hike to get to the village of Jisev. The jump-off point is somewhere in Bartang Valley. The only clue is a hanging bridge. No maps, no signs. With a bit of talking to the locals, our driver managed to find the spot. We parted ways with our driver who would come and pick us up at the jump-off point the next day. And so, the adventure begins. No clue if we were going to the right direction. There are no people to ask, no signs to follow, but we are thoroughly enjoying the wild. And surprise! The only sign we saw. Welcome to Gisev. Managed to get to Gulka Guest House and to welcome us a beautiful spread of bread, biscuits, and tea. Well rested and well fed, it is now time to explore the village. This village is indeed such a precious gem. In the evening, the village community showed us how they herd their animals to the pen. These in particular caught Rob's heart. <coughs> Coordinated, so cute. Uh, it is now time to say goodbye to this beauty and these views. This day is the longest drive so far, from Bartang all the way to Dushanbi. We chose the 371 kilometers, of course. But wait, a surprise? Right there, unexpectedly, in the middle of the Pamir Highway, the roof of the world. We had our shower and we had our car washed. What a lovely way to say goodbye to the Pamirs. Dushanbi, the final destination of our Tajikistan leg. We spent most of the day walking, exploring parks, Basically, just an easy day trying to be locals. Rob even got his hair cut. We ended the day with a double serving of mojito, a drink, and a shisha. What a finale! Thank you, Tajikistan. You were lovely.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that button. If you like the content I'm putting out, please, please subscribe. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next video.